Have you ever felt like you were just at the end of the rope when something has just lost steam, when you have no energy left? Well, my friend, that is exactly where I am these days. Welcome to Daily Whispers, Kara Bradley. I'm so happy you're here. And I so thank you for your engagement and your sharing of this podcast. It really is how we grow. It's not easy to grow a solo podcast because I don't have other guests on, but um, that's where you come in, this community. So if you have someone in mind, I'd really appreciate today if you shared it with that friend. Okay, where am I? I'm at the end of my rope this rope at least. There'll be other ropes. And I'm coming to you unscripted today. And I'm not going to get too far into the details because this really isn't about me. It's just about what I'm experiencing and highlighting that for you because we're so much more alike than we are different. And if I could use my story to help model something that perhaps you're feeling to give you a little bit deeper insight into what you're going through, well then, that makes my heart sing. I am at the end of my rope with this no home base thing, experiment. We've been calling it an experiment for the last 18 months. Having no home base, living out of a car, in hotels, in short-term rentals, sometimes with friends, but not often. But we are losing steam. We have no energy left for it. And so we're ready. We're ready to make a change. And I think that it is so symbolic, or at least it is, you know, a good example of what happens when we are at the end of the rope with other areas of our lives. And so I really just want to offer you where I'm at for you to explore where you're at. You know when you just don't have energy left to rally? (laughs) Like, I just feel like I can't rally anymore. I'm coming to you from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. We are making our way north, headed back to the northeast, but not sure where we're going to land. We have nowhere to land. Of course, we can stay with family, but that's not the point. But... We are at the end of this rope. The train has met the end of the rails. (laughs) And there's no energy left. There's no enthusiasm left. And so I was thinking about this before I hit record. You may have this feeling in your job, in a relationship doesn't have to be a partner. It could be just a friendship that you're just kind of have no energy left for, for whatever reason. It could be a vice in your life, whether it be drinking, smoking, shopping, whatever your vice is. You may just be at the end of your rope. I'm done. I've got to make a change here. There's no energy left to carry this on. It could be something about your health to once and for all change something about your health condition or your uh, how you sleep, how you eat, how you care for yourself, your weight, whatever. What are you at the end of your rope? What rope are you at the end of? <laughs> It's kind of funny. It's just, it's just a metaphor and I screw up metaphors all the time. It's just an inquiry and maybe there's nothing right now. Maybe there's nothing that you're exacerbated about. You know, one thing I think I would say overall that we could probably all do less with is, is the new cycle. Maybe that's just a small, like I'm at the end of my rope. I can't get myself sucked into this new cycle every day the way I do. 
So I'm just throwing that out there in case nothing is coming up super obvious for you. I think it's good just just be aware of when the energy has run out and to be honest with yourself. When the energy has run out to keep something going in your life, to keep up the the, you know, good face, whatever, you know, they say the keep up the good attitude about something when you just have no energy left for it. And so for me, in closing, I'm at the end of this rope with being home free, no home base, location independent, whatever we've called it in the past, nomadic. And so I'm excited for new beginnings. And I feel like I'm just in this transition space right now. You'll hear more about this in the coming weeks. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for being here. I am just always so thrilled to be able to turn on this mic, hit record, and see what comes out of this mouth of mine. Uh, I know that it is, um, it, it, it's raw and it's real. That's all I can promise you that. Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah.